Hi, this is Hannah, and I'm going to show you very quickly how you can use your Microsoft Word software to customize your ultimate coverage insurance policy. Uh, first, you need to know a little bit about the files. The files uh, are a zipped document that you'll download to your hard drive. Once you unzip it, uh, you'll see that there's several different files inside. One is a PDF file, and that is your instructions. Uh, to open that, your best course of action is going to be to right-click on the, uh, the name of the file, choose Open With, and, and click on Adobe Reader. If you don't have Adobe Reader, you can download a free copy from the Internet. But uh, the, uh, the file has embedded video and things like that, and uh, it's designed to be open with Adobe software. So um, I don't think it's going to function well if you try to open it with something else. Uh, there's also a file folder called Files, and that has your images in it for your um, customization of your policy. Uh, you don't want to just double-click on one of those and try to open it because um, those are PNG files. Your um, operating system probably has a default uh, for opening those. It's just like a picture viewer or something, and there's really not a lot you can do with it when it's in a, uh, that kind of software. So what you need to do is first open the software that you're going to use to create your insurance policy and then import in the PNG file. If you're using uh, Photoshop, then you would bring in your PSD file or the PNG, either one. So here I have uh, Microsoft Word open. And the first thing I'll do is bring in uh, the image of the person that will be in the insurance policy and then I'll bring in the PNG file. So um, up here in um, your... Uh, your menu bar, you have something called insert and then picture. So click on that and go to picture from file. And I will uh, navigate to the picture that I would like to use, which is a picture of my mom. And I think it's down here. Yes, here it is. And it brings it in. Um, you'll notice Word won't let you move it around or resize it. Um, it's kind of, uh, that's the default setting is just to kind of leave it uh, the way it was. So. You have to tell it it's okay to reposition it and everything. And to do that, you've got to go up to uh, make sure the picture is selected and go up to Arrange and then Wrap Text and go down to More Layout Options. Click on that and uh, choose Behind Text because uh, the image of the person is the bottom layer and the PNG file is the top layer. So for the picture of the person, select Behind Text under Text Wrapping. Under Position, choose Relative Position. Uh, under vertical and horizontal. We don't want absolute position because that's what's keeping it uh, in the same place and not letting you move it around. And choose um, allow overlap and then click OK. So now it will let you move it around and it will let you reposition it. Okay. So um, there we have the picture of the person. Now we'll bring in the PNG file. So we do the same thing. We go up to insert, picture, picture from file, and we go to uh, the uh, folder where you have the images from us and choose, this is an 8.5 by 11 document and uh, we're, we're designing the back page and this is corporate orientation. Uh, this is a woman, so we're going to use the queen um, uh, PNG file. And it brings it in. You can see that there is transparency here, um, but it will not let you resize it like this. So to do that, you have to go back and do the same thing as before. Go up to Arrange, Text Wrap, and go down to More Layout Options. And this time choose in front of text and then go to position and select relative position, relative position, allow overlap, and then OK. Now it will let you resize this. And uh, you'll have to do a little adjusting uh, to both images to get them lined up exactly the way you would like to have them. But it's really pretty easy after that. So I'll just put this uh, like that, for example. Let's say that's just right. And then I would go up to um, File. Save as, and I would save it as a Word document, but I would also save it as a PDF. Uh, that's probably what you'd want to take it into your um, copy center as. They'll have the least trouble with it that way, and then just click Save, and you're all done. So that's how you do it in Word. Um, I'll also show in a few minutes how to customize the front of the insurance policy uh, as well. Good luck.